Hello, my name is Joe Kim, and in this video, Recorded like for TKS 2020 workshop, I will present our paper, Audio Tech Representation Guided Dual Attention Network for Acoustic Sync Classification. These are today's contents. I will first start with the introduction and motivation. The next two baseline systems is for the Acoustic Sync Classification, ASC, and Audio Tagging Task will be explained in which we use the audio tank baseline to improve the ASC system. Experiments and corresponding results will be then present, followed by a conclusion. Let's start with the introduction. ASC refers to the task of classifying the input recording into one of the predefined scenes. Recently, studies have been conducted in various aspects, for example, the structure data augmentation technique, and framework, such as end-to-end -end and back-end classifiers. Sound event detecting tasks include audio tagging and sound event detection. Audio tagging predicts the posterior probability of predefined sound events from the input recording, and this output is called tag vector. SAD performs the audio tagging task and predicts the onset and offset of each event together. The motivation of this study started from the fact that human perceive acoustic scene leveraging the existence of sound events. Therefore, it is assumed that the onset and offset of sound event would not be critical for the ASC task, and we try to improve the performance of the ASC system by utilizing the audio tagging system. In our previous work, we improve the performance of the ASC system by using tag vector. Here, the tag vector means the output of the audio tagging system. This tag vector is concatenated to the picture map of the ASC system, and the final code is generated by applying the multi-head attention map derived from the tag vector. The key improvements of this study are threefold. First, we use the tag representation, which is the output of the last hidden layer of the audio tag system, instead of tag vector, which is the output layer. This change is motivated by a potential out of distribution problem, which we will use to explain in detail in later slide. Secondly, we applied a dual attention mechanism. Finally, the baseline was modified the input picture is changed from the low waveform to the mass spectrum. Also, the squeeze and excitation module were utilized. Now, I will explain two baseline system for the ASC and the audio tagging used in this study. The ASC baseline that we use is a variant of squeeze and excitation less than. We extract mass spectrum from the low waveform then extract a recording level embedding using this SLS net. After that, it is concatenated to one fully connected layer and classified into 10 acoustic sync class. The audio tagging system that we use to extract tag vector and tag representation are from Akiyama's works. It is the winning system of TK's 2019 Challenge Test 2. Because the data set is divided into two parts that each has clean and noise label, it is proposed to use different fully connected layer in parallel. After that, the global max pooling layer to perform audio tagging. Among two DNNs with different input feature, we use the one that input mass spectrum to make consistent with our ACC system. Now let's move on to the proposed framework in ASC using audio tagging. First, we hypothesize that using tag vector for the ASC system can be problematic in particular scenarios. In order to record the previous introduced contents, the tag vector refers to the output of the audio tagging system. Each dimension of tag vector means the posterior probability value of predefined sound events, and the tag vector we use has 80 dimensions. However, sound events that are not defined in audio tagging system can exist in the input recording. 
In this case, the tag back is assumed to mislead information and call up the ASC system when use that tag vector. This problem is similar to the out of distribution problem reported in the paper below. So we propose the to use tag representation, which is the output of the last hidden layer of the audio tagging system. The tag representation is assumed to contain relatively abstract information of sound events. This motivation was inspired by the D-vector framework in the speaker verification test. And in that framework, the output of the last hidden layer was also used as an input representation. Through experiments, we confirmed that the misclassification of a confusing pair was elaborated when using tag representation. The below tab is the result of top seven misclassified pair of each system. Baseline is the vanilla ACC system, tag back report to the ACC system using tag vector, and the tag lab report to the ACC system using tag representation. Here, the bold points indicate the least misclassified result, and the tag lab shows the lowest misclassification result, and the rest of the pair excluding the metro tram pair. Our proposed system improved performance by changing the multi-head attention technique using previous study to the dual attention mechanism. The attention mechanism is a te technique for exclusively emphasizing important information and was first proposed in the machine translation test. The dual attention mechanism has been proposed in the imaging domain and independently emphasized the positional and channel dimension. Using this technique, long range contextual information can be explored and the information of two dimensions can be defined. Using this advantage, we apply the dual attention method to emphasize the precursor time and channel dimension respectively. We assume that applying this technique can aggregate the discriminated information, which is believed to be scarcity through the time frequency and channel domain. In the first phase, we pre-train the two baseline vanilla AC system and the audio tagging system before training the framework that we propose. Weight parameter of the pre-trained vanilla AC system is used for initialization. And the tag representation is extracted using up to the Latin layer of the audio tagging system. This tag representation extractor is used with a fixed weight when training the proposed system. Now, we will introduce our proposed tag representation guide to your attention network. The proposed pre system combines the tag representation and your attention mechanism. The below figure shows the process of our proposed framework. Your attention maps are derived from the tag representation extracted from the pre-training tag representation extractor by weight project. Each dimension emphasizes the frequency time and channel dimension of ASC feature map. This is make it possible to refine the scattered crucial sound event information in the recording. Now let's move on to the experiment and research. Our experiments and perform in this study use the DKS2 downstream task 1A dataset. The dataset consists of mono recording, recording in 12 series, and has 10 different acoustic scenes. For recording, four real devices were used and 11 augmented devices were added. As an experiment complication, the male spectrum used as an input feature was extracted using 1 to 8 male filter banks, 2048 FFT pins. 40 milliseconds window length and 20 milliseconds shift. The size of mini pitch are 24. The optimizer set as 3D and the learning rate to 0.001. Also, Bixup was used as a data augmentation technique. This is the composition of the baseline system. System 1 and 2 are the baseline for the decades 2019 
and 2020 task 1A. Each system show an accuracy of 45.5% and 54.1%. And systems 3 and 4 are the result of the, our vanilla ASC and our tag vector ASC. It's a report on accuracy of 65.3% and 66.7%. Later, two systems are used as a baseline of this study. These are the results of comparison experiments. The upper table compares single and dual attention technique using single head. Comparing system 1 through 4 and 5 through 8, Dual attention technique show better performance than single attention technique. Comparing system 5 through 8, the application of attention map derived from the tag representation show better performance than the self attention method. The table on the bottom describes comparison experiments of the number of multi head when deriving the attention map from the tag representation. The smaller the number of head in the channel and frequency time dimension, the better the performance. This slide shows the result of the challenge for the TKS 2020 Task 1A. Our proposed system reports better performance with a nine times less number of parameters compared to the TKS 2020 baseline. Score some ensemble applied using four boards across validation of the our proposed system record 71.0% accuracy. Finally, let me introduce the conclusion. In this study, we try to utilize the sound events included in the input recording for the ASC system. In our previous study, the tag vector was used to improve performance. We propose an AS system using a tag representation and through attention framework. The proposed system was able to emphasize the scattered crucial sound event information related to the ASC. Thus, the accuracy of proposed system could be improved to 69.3% compared to 65.3% of the baseline. Thank you for your listening.